and new recommendations from the CDC this afternoon. Within the last hour, the center reversed course on some masking guidelines. Here are three things that you need to know from their update. The biggest thing is first, they've recommended that even the vaccinated people return to wearing masks indoors in parts of the U.S., depending on the number of cases in your area. The new guidance follows recent decisions in Los Angeles and St. Louis to revert to indoor mask mandates amid a spike. The second, a new finding shows in 100 cases tested, infected vaccinated people had indistinguishable levels of the virus in comparison to unvaccinated people. Basically, they had the same level of the virus, making it easier to spread, whether vaccinated or unvaccinated. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky says that's specific with the Delta variant and a finding the CDC says has only discovered in the last couple of days. So we are still in the very early stages, but it is concerning enough that they are making these new recommendations. And lastly, because of this new information on the Delta variant, the CDC also recommended indoor masks for all teacher, staff, students and visitors to schools, regardless of your vaccination status. The Delta variant continues to rapidly spread through the country and officials are urging unvaccinated citizens to do their part for the health of the community. You don't have the choice to go out and drink and drive and put everybody else's lives at risk. That's the equivalent of this moment with the deadliness and efficiency of the Delta virus. The CDC is reporting that 62% of counties in the U.S. are experiencing major spread of the Delta variant, causing many of them to implement mask mandates once again. And hospitals are being overrun with one facility in Miami having to convert an auditorium for more bed space.